play. You know, yeah, on display. Yeah, these six, are not kit bots, five, right? You can just buy four, this particular three, piece, this um, two, this spinner. One, fight. It's a very popular fight. item, especially at this competition. Oh, good. Hop oh, in the air. Okay. Red Hades on Jack Cash. Now, if you'll notice, these bots haven't gone weapon to weapon yet, and a lot of that is because of how good Tyler is at driving. He's been able to get to the side and to the back of Jack Cash the entire time. Tyler Wynn is one of the most aggressive young drivers in this sport today. Absolutely. He has been driving combat robots since what? He was six? Something like that. He's fought all over the world. Fought all over the world. He's fought in the UK uh, on Bugglebots. He has fought at Robo Games, where he is a gold medalist. And uh, he's giving a, uh, giving a driving clinic here. But it looks like the weapon on Dread Hades weapon is down. Weapon might be down, yeah, which is interesting. He's still dominating this fight without a weapon at this point. It looks Look like it's that. twitching. Yeah, he's got a little bit of twitch action going on. There's just so many variables to this sport. Ooh, that is a good pin from Tyler. Not afraid to go weapon on weapon. Wow. Finally, you see the Jack Ketch get some hits on Dread Hades after a long time of Dread Hades controlling this fight without an active weapon. There's another and good right pin back from to Tyler. It. Yep, right back to it. Let's him go. Goes back in for yet another pin, able to get around to the side. Wow. Big pop in the air. Tyler Wynn really showing his, uh, his driving skill as a control bot driver. Even without a weapon, really controlling the pace of this match. These are some good hits from Jack Ketch. They are. It's interesting, though. It's like Jack Ketch is not the aggressor. You know, Dread Hades is running into the weapon more than Jack Ketch is actually getting hit. Wow, another big pop that in the air beautiful. from Dread Hades. Great move. And Jack Ketch is racking up these damage points. Yeah, that was a great move by Jack Ketch there. Spun right into them. 30 seconds left. Oh, this one is coming down to be much closer than I thought. Yeah, Jack Ketch really showing some control and damage here at the end of this fight. Oh, and the weapon from Dread Hades is back. Look at that, Kyle. That's what you want. That's what you want. back from the dead with 15 seconds left. Get to get 10, up to speed. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the match. Turn off your weapons and drive to the door. This one goes wow. to the judges. So close. That was uh, that was an interesting that one. That was a back and forth. We are not doing a show of hands for this one. No, we are not. No. All right. Let's start with you, Diana. Your thoughts on this fight. Jack Ketch versus Dread Hades. I am going to give it to um, Dread Hades. I know that Jack Ketch got some good hits later on in the fight, but I feel like uh, the whole thing. All right, we've got one vote for Dread Hades. Jack, your thoughts. Jack Ketch versus Dread Hades. Yeah. I'm in agreement with Diana there, with Dread Hades taking it, even with Jack Ketch getting those hits towards the end. Dread Hades was a lot better on the control front and just still dominated the control and aggression game even without a weapon. All right, we've got two votes for Dread Hades. Don, will this be a unanimous judge's decision? Yeah, make it three. All right, we've yeah, got a unanimous nice judge's work. decision for Tyler Wynn and Dread Hades. Yeah, good job. That was amazing.